Okay, so we are going to play some Dream Home. Alright. So, the object of this game is to build the best house by the end of the game. Okay? So, first let me explain the, um, the, the planning board. So, each round, new cards will come into this board. And then, we get to pick two of them. We can pick one from the top. Whatever one you pick from the top, the bottom, you have to pick the top one. Because they go in pairs. So if I pick this one, I have to pick this one. If I pick this one, I have to pick that one. So after both of us pick one, then everything that we didn't pick gets discarded and new cards come out. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, the whole purpose is to... you'll After 12 rounds, we will have 12 rooms filled up. And that's when the game ends. Now, the whole purpose is to get and build rooms and expand on them. That's how you get the most points. So each room has how many points are worth it if, um, if uh, you get, like, for example, the kitchen has one card. So that's worth one point. But if you put another kitchen card next to it, see, two cards is worth six points. So the kitchen... Is worth six points now the kitchen cannot be expanded more than two cards however the living room can have up to three cards okay you have to play the room cards next to the other room cards in order to get the expanded bonus okay can you have two kitchens absolutely but it would only just be worth one point and one point because they're not expanded next to each other mm -hmm. okay so your goal is to put down rooms, expand on those rooms to get the most points, but then also you have bonus points. So this card says you get three points for having a bathroom on the top and bottom floors. So if you put a bathroom on the top and bottom floors, you get an extra three bonus points. Um, you also get an extra three bonus points for having a bathroom, kitchen, and bedroom. Because it's called the home functionality. Mm -hmm. Right? So if I build, I don't have to have a home, a bathroom, kitchen, and bedroom. But if I do, I get three extra bonus points. Okay? Now, so that's how the rooms work. You want to try and place your, oh, the biggest thing about playing a room is that you cannot play a room if there is something, if there is nothing underneath it. So at the beginning of the game, you're only going to be able to play rooms right here. Okay, because there's no empty spaces underneath it. Or you're going to play garage pieces. Because the only tiles that can go in this bottom row are basement, basement tiles. Okay, so like a garage, a workplace, or whatever. You'll notice the basement tiles because they'll pop up. But that's the, the those are the key things. You can't, um, you can't play a tile if there's nothing underneath it. And only... Room tiles go in these top two rows. Basement pieces go in this bottom row. Okay? Okay. Now, certain rooms, like this game room, is just worth two points, and it's a single, right? So I can place that anywhere. Okay? Got it. So that's how the rooms work. Let's talk about the, the resources. So remember how I said you can pick up one of these two? So if I pick up, for example, the kitchen and the shelves, and I put the kitchen there, and the shelving says, place a shelving token, which is right here. It says, place the shelving token on the basement card. So if I had a basement card here, I would put a shelving token here, and I would get an additional one point. How do you get tokens? From here. So, for example, if you pick this living room, you would pick up the piano. Okay. And the piano set is worth three points, but it says place the piano on a living room card. So you have to have a living room card. To you. Yes. So there's only one power token set either of us might get. Correct. As we play. Correct. Um, if you cannot place a token, because you have to draw a card. If you cannot place a token... Then it gets discarded. So if there's no living room, I have to discard it. The piano. 
The runes, however, if there's nowhere to discard a rune, there's nowhere that I can play a rune. Because let's say this board was filled up and I have no basement tiles. Because remember, I can't place runes over nothing that's not beneath it. So if all of these three were sick or filled up and I drew this, then all of your rooms actually become empty rooms, okay? Which you flip over the card and you get no points at the end of the game because you have nowhere to place it. You would lose your whole house if you can't place one card? No, you'd get zero points just for that room. So when you calculate all of your room totals, this one doesn't get any points. Because you couldn't place it. Because I couldn't place it anywhere. Uh -huh. So if these were all covered up, I need garage or basement tiles in order to put this one down. But I can't. So it becomes an empty room. And you can never make it not an empty room on different cards? There's special abilities that you can do to make it a um, non-empty room. So that's how the things work. There's tools that you can get. Which one has the non-empty room? Yeah. And there's also helpers as well. Okay. You look at them. So the architect is a helper, which she says at the end of the game, you actually get one point for each empty room. So again, that's a very specific thing that will come up up, up here. Mm -hmm. that you hold on to her until, and then at the end of the game when you're ready to score you get one point for each empty room tools can be used anytime so I can hold on to this tool and then use it at any time so which the concrete mixer says before I take cards I um, discard this card and switch two room cards on the game board so because once you put down rooms you can't move them However, that tool says, before I pick any of these cards, I can switch to rooms. Because maybe I figured out, ooh, I can expand the living room better, but I just got to switch these two around. Okay? So you have those in there. You have tools. You have helpers. And then the last part of the game, because this actually has a lot of parts. It, like it, 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 go, it, goes, it goes pretty easy. <laughs> It goes by really easy. <laughs> All right, so the last part of the game is these roof tiles, okay? At the end of the game, you will also score points based on how many roof tiles you can get. Right. So, for example, if you get a complete roof, you need four tiles to get a complete roof. Yep. So, if it's a mismatched roof, you just get three points because you get four roof tiles, which you store here until the end of the game. Mm-hmm. Kind of like poker because if you get four root tiles that are the same color then you get eight points and then for each roof tile that actually has a window you get an additional point okay mm -hmm. so this is an example of like a perfect roof tile it's four roof tiles they're all the same color and you have a window so nine points okay so as you are drawing, as you are picking your room, so let's say I wanted to pick here. Mm -hmm. Let's say I wanted to pick here. I pick the study. I'll put the study here, and I'll pick the brown roof. The only um, catch is that the roof tiles get discarded face down. So I, I got to remember what color roof tiles that I drew. Because at the end of the game, I have to, I'm trying to make four roof tiles of the same color. Right. And that's pretty much it. It seems very complicated, but it's not once we get going. It seems, um, you know, it, it once once we start, you'll get, oh, okay, I get it, I get okay, it. And what's that little pad for? This is, at the end of the game, how we score. So, so I'll get to that. Score card. Correct, correct. It's not how we keep track of the game. Okay, you ready? Okay. I'm ready. All right, so it says the youngest player goes first. Well, thank you. <laughs> so you get to pick any pair first. So um, remember, you get three bonus points if you build a bathroom, kitchen, and a bedroom. You also get three bonus points if you build a bathroom on each floor of the house. 
Uh, and this little house is that, indicates which turn it is. Correct. So that indicates first player. Oh, so you see how each one of these rows each have a pair? Mm -hmm. If I choose this pair, I only get this one card, but that means I also get to snatch the first player token. So that means next round I go first. Yeah. Otherwise, you continue to go first, picking first. Oh, okay. Unless I choose this, in which I would only get one card, but I would get Plus that. Out. Yes. Like that. But this is how we're going to track who's first in that. Okay. So I am digesting all of the rules. Hopefully I will remember. Um, so I get to pick a pair, and I do recall you saying we cannot build on something where we don't have the basement. Correct. Or the garage. Um, and am I presuming that if it's green, I can put it in the garage? No, so the garage tiles will only be in the room row. And will it say garage? It's, it's like basement tiles. So for example, the workshop, and the numbers are at the top. So oh. the workshop... The garage. You and know, they are the same color, though. They are the same color, but, you know, that's just circumstantial. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to go with kitchen. Okay. Pick it up. No. I'm going to go with the living room and the patio. The piano. Piano. Good. Oh, one other rule that you should know before I get this, this important. So, because I know you like to know all their rules. <laughs> you mean so I'm not say, on the rules I know, I, I, know. I forget. So, if I put down the living room, and you see how the piano says, place the piano token on any living room card. Mm -hmm. So, this piano will give me three bonus points. But as soon as you put any decor down in your room, then that room is locked. That means you can't expand on it. So, I can't put two more cards for living room. That would be important. Yes, to know. very, very important. I knew that's what you were going for, so I said, "Let me tell her first. So it would lock your living room, meaning you can't expand on it to get those and three cards for nine points. And I can't hold the piano for later. No, it gets discarded. You have to play it immediately. Yes, unless it's an ally or a tool. Okay. In that case, I'll take the kitchen and the shelving. I am playing my kitchen in lower left here. But you can't play the shelving. But I can't play the shelving because don't. I don't have anything in the basement. Correct. So it just goes to the discard pile. Got it. Okay. Your turn. I am going to... I'm going to begin working on the living room. I'm going to place my living room right here to do that. And I'm going to discard the piano. Here, you can the discard problem. You didn't say I can discard it. You, you said can. I if have to play it, it and it locks the room. Yeah, if you can't, if you don't place it, then it, you discard it. If you it. don't, means I have a choice on whether I want to place oh, it. Oh, okay. You made it seem like I had to place it. Well, let me see. Room. Let me see. Let's look at the thing. <laughs> Let's go to the rules. <laughs> Let's go to the rules here. Otherwise, I want my living room okay, back. Okay, you can probably get your living room back. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right, decor. When you take a decor card, which was what the piano was, you place its corresponding token on one of the rooms. You must place the token on a room that does not already have a decor token. It matches the room type indicated on the card, and then discard the card. When a discard token is placed on a room card, when a decor token is placed on a room card, that room is finished and cannot be expanded on. A room, meaning the entire room, so even if I had three living room right. cards, can only have one decor token. A decor token cannot be placed on an empty room. Uh, the treehouse and birdhouse are special decor items. Uh, it doesn't say you have to play a decor token. It also says you, the room is locked after you use it. Right. Um, you must place a token on a room that does not already have a token and matches the room. And then so I guess you have to. when the decor token is placed on a room, that room is finished and cannot be expanded on. Okay, so you That's must place the token on a room that does not already have a token, if I take it. Right. Okay, so I'm going to take it. And it's only locked after you play it. Right. So I'm going to not do that then. Well, you, you're right. You can take it and discard the, you just don't use the token. Okay. 
So I'll take the living room and the piano and just discard the piano. Okay. All right. So that's round one. So these get discarded. So start start two bottles, and then these are the room rooms. Okay, and we flip over new bedroom playroom. Do they say flip too? Yep. Start straight it up. Turn it upside down. Let's go. And another room and okay. a carpet right there. Okay, you still got first. Okay, so now that I understand a little bit more about the core, um, I currently have a kitchen um, party room, bedroom, living room. Mm -hmm. I would have taken the living room had someone else not taken the living room and withheld information. <laughs> um, you always seem to still beat me, though. Mm. So. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll take the bedroom and the roof. Okay, where you put it? Uh, the roof I'll store here, but mm -hmm. I have to remember Face what down. color it is, so I don't get to flip it back over. Nope, okay. until the end of the game. So you gotta, you gotta kind of remember what colors you stacked into your roof, because remember you only get to choose four. Well, who doesn't design the roof without looking at it? We can talk about the theme of that later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna throw the bedroom up above my kitchen. Okay. Can my bedroom go down here? You can, but then you will block your kitchen from being expanded. That I am aware of, but I can essentially play this card in any in, in yeah. other space. You can play it here, here, or here. These don't have rooms underneath them, so you can't oh, play it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. I'm going to take the living room to expand my living room and look, it actually makes a pretty nice picture when you expand it, giving me two cards for four points. So, and then I'm also going to take the first player token. Yes, I think I will do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the end of round two. seem to go by kind of quickly. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, so I get first pick this time. Well, I'm definitely taking this last. It's so wet, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Store my roof tile. Okay, okay. Uh... And remember, you get bonus points if you build the bathroom on each level, as well as if you have living room, I'm sorry, bedroom, kitchen, bathroom. Right, it's on the tile. I see that. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the question is, how often do these pieces show up? Like, mm -hmm. is it a rarity to have a bathroom on the board? That's a question. That's a good question. Um, I don't know. Uh, same question I have with the roof. I know the roof with the windows are rare. So you, there's not a lot of roof with roofs with window pieces for that extra bonus point. Uh, I'm going to go... This is a ground, this is a basement tile too. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take the basement and the roof. Roof is there, basement there. Okay. Passing my turn. I need to get a pick there. Wait, is that the end of the round though? Oh, yeah, yeah, because I already took, I already drew. Okay. It's easy to keep track of rounds because you can just tell how many. Cars yeah, how many board. rooms you have down? Interesting. Ooh, wine, wine cellar. cellar. All right. 
So you see the garage with one car is worth zero points, but if you have two garage pieces, you get the four. It's a two car garage. Wow. Interesting. Mm hmm. I am not on that row. I'm it's, already used to the garage. It's in certain rooms, like for example, the dressing room is worth one point. If you put it, but if you put it next to the bedroom, it's worth three points. So once you expand your bedroom, you can put the dressing room. It'll be worth three points. All right, so it's my turn. I definitely need the garage piece. All right, and I'm taking the roof and the bathroom. And the bathroom, I can put. Anywhere, really? Well. Yeah, you can put right there. All right. And that's in the around here? Yep. I'm not sure if I like how quick the round, like I want to use more cards before flipping them out. I think that's the whole point of it. <laughs> they, they, they double up. I do know they duplicate. I suppose if you're playing this with more than one person. Yes. You would have used more than cards before you disappear. Mm -hmm. There is like a two-player variant which says... In a two, th two to three player game, follow the setup as normal. At the beginning of each round, before the first player takes his turn, he chooses a column of cards and discards that pair of cards. The first player cannot choose to discard the leftmost column. So I guess it gets rid of as many options on a two to three player game. You can just knock off one column. But that's you know, not helpful. That's not helpful at all. Okay. All right. So my turn. I'm going to, ooh. That's a good, so many good choices now. Now, certain things like the birdhouse, the birdhouse is one one extra point and actually gets placed outside of your house. So you get the birdhouse token and goes next to it. So you don't have to place that in the room. Um, the architect, so we have a helper that popped up. Each empty room on your home board is worth one point. But I want, I want to finish my basement. I'm going to go with um, what's the architect doing here? The architect, uh, each empty room on your home board is worth one point. Your home functionality bonuses are worth four points instead of three. Right. If I take the architect, do I get, I get to use it when I want it? No, Do I get the holder? She, yeah, you hold her until the end of the game. So that's really good because you know how like the home functionalities you get three points of having a living room. Right, you get four. You get four for each with each of these. I get it. I get it. Um, but I'm gonna hold on to the architect and take the bedroom and expand on that. Okay. Now, I like how they make like an actual picture when they're together. It's kind of cool. It's like yeah, one big. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Yeah, one big graphic. Okay. All right. So round one six. Ooh, a hot tub and a handyman. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't taking no hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go Look ahead. at that. Show the camera this handyman. I don't know why they did this to some, somebody. Hey, look. Uh, she ain't getting no handyman. <laughs> <laughs> the handyman back. <laughs> All right. So it's my pick. I'm almost tempted to take the handyman just because. I don't get no handyman. <laughs> I don't have no need of taking living room tiles. So, I don't have a kitchen yet. Actually, the handyman is probably my best too. Let's play. So we'll do kitchen. Well, you know what? No, we'll do kitchen here. Right next to my living room. And the handyman. Now, the handyman says at the end of the game, before scoring, I may switch two room cards on my board. So, I can switch any two. Got it, got it. Uh, 
on the concrete mixer before you take cards, discard this card to switch two room cards on the board. I need that. Uh, hot tub is a decor for. So, what you the could bathroom. do, you could hold on to that. And remember, so this allows you before we draw, you can switch them on this board, reverse them. Oh, switch on the board. I thought it was this board. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can switch pairs on. Because mm -hmm. okay. this will say in your house versus the game board. I got it. Um, okay, good to know. Um, I guess I don't have a living room yet. Kitchen. And get yeah, the first player. I don't need your help though. I got this. I was thinking of taking this player. Just trying to ease the that. confusion. Just trying to ease the confusion. That's all. Hey, I got handyman Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it has Mike right there on his on his uh no, no, it don't say it no Mike. It does stuff. say Mike. Handyman Mike. I got handyman Mike. <laughs> As long as you don't got handyman, Mike, I'm winning. I'm already winning. Well, the architect, she don't have a name. I'm not sure. Mm -mm. Handyman Mike is the only one that got a name. All right. Oh. So we're on round seven. Okay. Oh, we only get 12 rounds. Correct. Oh, I'm like, why are we keeping count? Okay. Oh, we got the Amazon supplier. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon Santa. <laughs> Sam the Amazon man. All right. You get to pick first this time. Okay, so I need that. Mm, I do need that. And mm, I need that too, but I don't need that. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go with this workshop, finish my basement, and take the supplier. Okay. The supplier is a helper. At the end of the game, before scoring, you may switch one room card on your home board with one room card in the discard pile. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Now my basement is finished. You have a finished basement. I'm passing it to you. See, I kind of screwed myself over because this says I get three points if I build a bathroom on each level. So if I put a bathroom here, I can't expand on my kitchen. That's true. So I just kind of messed myself get up. You a full living room. I do. So it's really just about seeing what's worth it in terms of points. A full kitchen will give me six points. Whereas opposed to a bathroom on each floor will give me only three. Mm -hmm. So I think I have to go with the kitchen. Now if you collect your four roof tiles, do you just start discarding the extra tiles? No, because you get to pick any four. Oh, you get to pick game. any four in your stack. You're trying to, yeah, you're trying to make the best roof at the end. So oh. you get to stack as many roof tiles down there as you want. You just got to remember, like, what colors I put down there. Well, you now you don't it. have to remember because you get more than four. Because when you flip them over, you just get to pick four. Right, but you're trying to get, like, uh, all the match the same color with the most points. Right. So as you're picking, you're like, oh... Do I get like, did I have three reds in there? But no, that's what I thought. But if I get to pick more than four, it doesn't matter. Because I'm not limited to just four. So no, no, you, 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 you only pick four, but you don't discard right now. You get to stack them up. Right. But at the I, end, you only pick four. Right. At the end. Correct. But during the game, I might end up with more than four. Right, that's which true. Which then I get to flip them all over and pick. Right. So I don't have to really be as focused on did I pick the right That's number, true. That's true. Which I thought I did because I had three. So I, I opted not to pull another roof mm -hmm. because I didn't want my fourth one to be. That got room. it. Got it. Got it. Got it. But if I knew I would have another opportunity for a roof. Like, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's open this one. All right. Round eight. Almost to the finish line. Living room, living room, ice cream maker, living room. What? All my living room. What? Okay. And I pile shuffle too. <laughs> well, I don't have a living room, so I guess it's helpful for 
for me. That is not um, helpful for me. But it's your turn. No, you had first player. Oh, I do. Sorry, I got the, got the mm-hmm. house. Um, now, with this whole 12 round thing, are there 12? There's 12 squares, yeah. Okay, so we really don't have to keep counting. No. Okay. Um... I'm going to take the ice cream maker in mm-hmm. the first living room. It's a good pick. It's a good pick. And I'm going to put my living room upstairs. You can't. There's nothing underneath. Right here. You can put it right there, yeah. And my ice cream, I'll place the ice cream maker on the kitchen cart. It's an ice cream Right here, ice cream. Goes in the kitchen. kitchen. For an additional one point. One point. You can have more than three living rooms, right? You can. I just wouldn't, get, I any just wouldn't get any points. And it's wasting other tiles that I could expand on. Empty room! <laughs> I could. Um, I guess I'll just make it a little bit upstairs. I'll go, I'll go with that. Now, does that turn into an empty room since it's, it gets no points anyway? No, I still get one point. How? Oh. For one car. I just don't get the... Flush. I just have two living rooms. <laughs> I have a big. This is the fa- what the the fam the family room. Then you got the den. You know. So that's that's what that is. The den is upstairs. The den is upstairs. <laughs> Y'all kids go upstairs. <laughs> yes. We're getting close to the end now. I only mm-hmm. have four more times to pick a roof, and I only have three for you. Um, so I'm gonna go with this bathroom roof. A single bathroom or a bedroom. This is terrible. Uh, this is terrible. Oh, but this would be the time I want to use my helper because right now I can't put the bathroom upstairs since there's nothing underneath. But that the helper is at the end of the game. I know. That's why I'm now realizing why that would be helpful because I'm going to have to put this up there. Got it. To get maximum points. Mm-hmm. Okay. What was I trying to put downstairs? I don't know. I need a bathroom. Oh, I guess that's where the like, party room and the green car is going. Choose the bathroom and the whirlpool bath. Look at me, I'm balling. I got a whirlpool bath upstairs. You don't have no bedroom. I don't got no bedroom. I got this whirlpool bath. (laughs) Uh huh. I don't need a bedroom. I got an open studio going on. Yeah, a lot of living room. Yeah, just sleeping in my living room. In a two car garage. (laughs) Big kitchen. I don't need no bedroom. You matching out, you run out of turn, you run out of cards on twelve rounds. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> like the, whoever designed this game was very intentional about that. It's almost like solitaire, like running out of the cards, and you kind of know it's over. Right. You're trying to you organize. You don't get to go back through the deck. Yeah. Okay, I still have first pick. Um. Oh, the bedroom can be four cards. <clears throat> what is uh No, bedroom can be two cards. You already completed. Oh. You got four I points already. I thought this is four points, but not two cards. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, what's something I want to put downstairs? What is... Scaffolding is <coughs> tool. When you take this card, place it on an empty space of your home board. You may place a room card above scaffolding. Come on mm-hmm. now. You must replace this card with a room card before the game ends. That's what I'm talking about. No. Okay. So you can place scaffolding here, so you can play a room here if you want. Right. But do but I you also want have to take the bedroom. bedroom? Now, if I have three bedrooms, I still just get one point for the extra bedroom? Correct. I want the scaffolding for something else. I want a living room. And this would be where the thing where you can switch. Remember the cement 
mixer. You could have been like, oh, I want to switch the scaffold in. Oh. I don't want to submit mixer. Right. Because you, you didn't choose it. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> mm, we were looking at the car. Right, 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 right. Yeah. yeah. But that would right. be a good, good time for that. Uh, I definitely can use it right now. Mm -hmm. Um, so I take the scaffold and I get another bedroom. Now you can drop the bedroom as an empty tile. Oh, you know what? This is just a placeholder anyway. Mm -hmm. Or I can do another bathroom. Three house. <laughs> really you got a one bedroom, bed. three bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I have visitors. I have <laughs> no matter where you go with it, you ain't coming to my bathroom. <laughs> um, <laughs> or I can just take the playroom. Uh, the playroom will be equivalent to the scaffold, so I'll take two cards. So I'll take the scaffold and the bedroom. Okay. Yeah, because at the end of the game, you can switch this out with your... Right, I'm going to switch. And I gotta swap this for something. Right. So you anyway. can switch it out for a living room if you want. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I got, I got kitchen, bathroom. I really need a bedroom going, but the bedroom ain't paired with anything that I want. Looks like you collect them rooms, my friend. Has to. Has to. Now, since I have to replace this scaffold before the end of my turn, this is the end, end of, turn, end end of the, the game. game, but there's only 12 rounds, when am I going to get like an extra card? It's just you would place a room there instead of the scaffold, and it would just get rid of the scaffold. I know, but it's almost like two turns. No, you can do it now. You can do oh, it. I thought I would run out of cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. I see. All right, uh, there's another tool, Jackhammer. Before the first player's turn, discard this card to take one room card from the game board. Skip your turn this round. So, you basically get to go before the first player. I am the first player, though. Right. And Roofer. Roofer's good. At the end of the game, before you look at your roof cards, you may take one roof card from the discard pile. Uh, bedroom garage, sauna. Sauna is worth one point, three points if it's next to a bathroom. Yeah, I gotta put it mm. in the bathroom. Then you can't put it next to the bathroom. Yeah, I can. Yeah. The scaffold removed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could. I'm just gonna lose that room, though. I really want another living room, but since you <laughs> took all the living rooms, doesn't look like. Hey, I'm the last gonna... play had like five of them in there. That's what I'm saying. And I didn't get one. I still want the party room, so. Um. I don't need more rooms. Yeah, I don't want the jackhammer. Um. I don't know, Sana. I'm the extra room. Okay, so get rid of your scaffolding. And I need a bedroom at the, end of the, at the end of the game before you look at your roof card. You may take one roof card from the discard pile. That means I had to have paid attention what color I was getting. Yeah, I think you need. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, last round. Last round, and I have one square left. So I guess it works out perfectly. Ain't nothing but roof tiles left. And the interior designer is a helper. Oh, she's good. The core tokens do not finish your rooms. At the end of the game, each of your decor tokens is worth is worth one extra point. So that would came in handy earlier because you could put the decor down anytime you want. That's not what it said. It, it said, said it doesn't complete finish your rooms. So you remember, it doesn't lock your rooms. You see what I mean? So remember on the first turn, I, I drew a living room in that. And what, what what was it? The uh, it was the living room and the piano. The piano. If I place the piano down, then it wouldn't complete the it wouldn't complete the room. I can still expand on it. 
<coughs> no, that's not what this is saying. This is just saying that the core tokens you already have are worth the extra point. Right, but then the first part said they don't finish your rooms. I mean, you can still expand on it. Right, but if you can't use the helper to the end of the game, there's no nothing to expand on. No, you wouldn't have true. opportunity to get a token. That's true. <coughs> Wait, oh wait, I think there's something that's unique about the interior designer. <clears throat> um, during the game, you place a decor token, it does not finish the room, but your rooms are still limited to having only one decor token. Any of your rooms that were considered finished because of decor tokens before you had the interior designer can now be expanded. <clears throat> This card ability applies as soon as you take it. So she doesn't play at the end. Right, but at the end of the game, that's what the, her addition. second effect. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Allergies. <laughs> that part out. <laughs> Pretend I said a funny joke. We are COVID free. Of <laughs> Very COVID free. <laughs> Very, very COVID free up in here. <laughs> um, we got, I'm looking for living room, so that is what I got. Oh, well, you know what? Before you do that, I'm gonna use the jackhammer and go first. <clears throat> and I'm going to. Take this. You found the living room. Why would you take the <clears throat> living room? You'll see. <sighs> so I would also like a living room. However, and I, if I take another living room, yeah. I get four points. If I swap <clears throat> floors. Because right now both my bathrooms are on the same floor. <clears throat> I'm going to get three points. So I really actually get more points for having a double living room that I have for the kitchen and the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So I'm taking the living room. All right. Or this one. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, right? So now we come down to scoring. We have filled up our house. We built our house. <clears throat> we need to score and see how many points we get. So any at the end of the game scoring things that happen to go into effect. Okay. And this is where the scoring pack comes in. Oh, if you want to show the camera that, I will get a pen. <clears throat> you write you want to put what amounts no four at the same time can we each go up here so your I name mean, goes all here. have to use one card yeah to conserve yeah, that's kind of whack it's <clears> a lot <throat> to add up i mean i guess you don't have to you each use a different card okay so we score the rooms first I'm so checking on my special rooms here Right, so I have Handyman, so at the end of the game before scoring, I may switch two room cards on my home board. So I, this is why I chose the living room. <clears throat> I'm going to switch this living room. Bedroom. Oh. So you get points for double living rooms and double and mm -hmm. triple living rooms? Yeah. Okay. Well, I have the supplier. Um... And I get to switch one room card on my home board with a room card and a discard pile. So here's the discard pile. And I'm sorry, going... that's the room. Right, 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 right. I got it, I got it. So I'm going to switch the bedroom because I don't get any extra points for this bedroom. Mm -hmm. I get one point for this bedroom. Right, with the living room. Ooh, ooh, yeah. No, that would still only be one. <gasps> oh. 
You helping me out. And I wasn't thinking that. I oh, I thought that's that. what you were going for. No, I was going to put one in the little party rooms in there and get two <clears> points <throat> instead of one. But you're right, you're going. Thank you, boo. All right. And then the architect, each empty room on your home board is worth one point. Your home functionality is worth four. Right. So we okay, didn't. So I get four. So, so functionality, we'll do it. That's the third step. But we don't have any empty rooms. Okay. <coughs> All right. Let's score our rooms. So I'll do mine first. Okay. I have two cards here for four. Uh, two cards here for another four. So that's eight. Mm-hmm. I have a bathroom for nine. Why am I nine? No, I'm just adding up. Oh. Four, four, eight. <laughs> plus one is nine. Plus one, plus nine. You have eighteen. Plus six. Right? Twenty-four. Plus eight. Okay. So the space on this little piece of paper, you need like real paper to add up. Well, I just, you just put the totals. I know, but it was a lot. Mm. One of, look, right. now, I, I got you. I got you. Up. I got you. Okay, so my <clears> room's <throat> here. I have mm. six for the kitchen, mm -hmm. three for the sauna, that's nine, mm -hmm. two bathrooms, 10, 11, three basement, 14, nine living room, 23, mm -hmm. four bedrooms. Bedroom, 27 plus 4 functionality. But don't, we're doing functionality next. Oh, so, 27. So just 27 for the rest. Oh, plus, uh, is this a, no, that's a part, separate that's the next two? Step. Okay. Yeah. 24? 27. 27. Alright. Next we go to decor. So I only have one decor, so that's worth two. And I have one decor worth one? Correct. It but doesn't I have a Oh, wait, I'm sorry. It. I have. Decor tokens do not finish your rooms. <clears throat> Each of your decor tokens works out. Mine is worth three. And if it doesn't have a number, it's worth just one. Okay. I got one. Okay. All right. Next, we go to functionality. So you get three points if you have a bathroom on each floor. I don't have that. I don't have that either. But you also get three points if you have a kitchen, bedroom, and bathroom. Right. And I get an extra point right. from the architect. Right. So I you get four, four, I get three. Kitchen, bathroom, bedroom. Right. Now the important part <clears throat> is the roof. <clears throat> we flip over. We basically try to make the best poker hand we can get. <clears throat> See, it does feel like the last <clears throat> the last uh, play. Like a surprise of them. Dang. So I oh have, no! I have a, you got nine. I have a completely uniform roof with one window. So a completely uniform roof is eight, mm -hmm. and you have a window, so nine. So you get a nine for your roof. <sighs> oh, man. Wait, three points for a complete roof. So if you have four and five extra, mm -hmm. if your roof is uniform, so three plus five is eight. eight. Plus, Plus a window. window is nine. Okay. I think that just pulled you ahead. So I definitely have a complete roof. I don't have a uniform. So I have a complete roof. So that would give me three. Now we tally it up. Tally it up now. <clears throat> hmm. Wow. I mean, did you intend to do that? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I did not. Was not paying attention to my room tiles. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna add this up. You see, thirty-two plus three is thirty-five. Plus three is thirty-eight. Plus three. Forty-one. Forty-one for Andre. Mm -hmm. And Adri. <laughs> That's twenty-seven. Plus one is twenty-eight. Plus four is already 32. 32 plus nine. Oh, 41. We tied. Oh, no. We tied. Okay, so it says. I was making it come up. Okay. In case of a tie. I did not think we were going to tie. All right, when scoring. 
There's something about finding the kids in the rooms. Yeah. Oh, I got a kid. Yeah, hold on. It says here, winning the game. The player with the most points wins. In case of a tie, the tied players search their own home for kids depicted in their room's artwork. <clears throat> You may need to look closely as, as some of the children are hiding with only one arm or leg visible. The tie player with the most kids in their home wins. Oh my goodness, this is There's still a, a tie. The tie player shared the victory. <laughs> so we'll look at the artwork. That is terrible. And see how many kids are in there. I'm like, I, this been a kid the whole time. I did not see that kid. I do. I, oh, I have one kid. And it's I so, got two. It's so subtle, you would not have seen these kids. Yep, I got two. I got three. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I got this weird mm. wall, though. Look. Yep, because I got a kid right here. He's blown nope, up. No, no, I got another kid. Then I got three. <clears throat> I see a leg. You got three as well? Yep. It was bath time for the kid. I got one, two, and three. I got one in the pillow fight. Let's see. I mean, I would assume you have a pillow fight with more than one kid. No, you got one there. You got one I here. I got one and a, a foot in the bathtub. Kids wouldn't be in the sauna. I know there's some empty chips in this kitchen. Mm -hmm. I don't see, see no, no kid. kid. I don't see no kid. Uh, <clears throat> so it's 3-3. Three, three. We tied. All right. What's we share the a victory. To the tiebreaker. That's it. This says we share the victory. That's kind of cute with the extra kid. Oh, wait, I didn't check my roof. It's a paper airplane going out the window. It has to be a kid. Okay. <laughs> and that's it. That's the game. So nobody won. I feel like we need to do another one. All of that and nobody won? Yeah. I feel like we need to do it, do it again. Now that you know how to play, it'll go a lot quicker. It would go quicker for sure. Okay. This game, you can start recording.